most parents couldn't believe it actually they were like you're bringing the horses here one of the parents says we spent the whole lockdown two kilometers driving to try and see a, a horse then five kilometers then we squeezed it to seven to see a horse and you mean you're bringing horses to my doorstep it's an awfully long time for them from march until september to not see the horses so it, i think it's been a really timely reach out to them um, to break that gap and recreating the magic that we have in school at home for them. Avine just loves the horses and the horses love her. So Avine's world is really sensory. She learns through her senses and uh, it's all touch and feel and everything is about her experience. So when Avian's around the horses, she just comes alive. You can see her eyes sparkle, she smiles, and she just, it just brings her to life. Physically, her posture is really improves from being on the horses, and her coordination and her co coordination skills improve, but also she becomes a lot more vocal and a lot more communicative on the horses, and it just really, she just really glows. So Amelia has um, no vision at all, so for her the world is a very scary place, so you saw that she was a little bit anxious at the start. So today she was very brave, she went over and she was very close and she hasn't fed the horse today, before, so she's done that and that's a little milestone for her. Mary Grace, she was so happy and she's giggling and you know it's been months that she hasn't seen horses so she looks so happy. For all the kids with special needs it's really tough because they have this routine kind of everyday going to school, meeting their friends every day, their classmates, their teachers more especially and now they're being in the house for how many months it's like there are only two or three persons that they're seeing each other so she really missed school. Jay has a diagnosis of a significant visual impairment and autism as well. So again, his world is full of boundaries and it's about exposing him to new experiences that he becomes open to. It's about learning those social cues, about learning new routines and um, getting him outside his comfort zone. It's been really a joy to see the children, um, to bring them and to meet them in their home environment and to also see that they're not even just reacting to us in that way in school, that they also react that way at home. They really enjoy the horses. It's a pleasure. <laughs>